What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about the Scroll X1 High Performance. So first up I want to talk about the design of this mouse. So it has a longer design, much longer than the Shark Gaming Mouse or the other gaming mouse that I reviewed. Uh, it has a longer design which you would think would be more uncomfortable but it's not as comfortable as the wider gaming mouses but it's not, it's not super uncomfortable. You have to get used to it but I found that as I was using it that it's not the most comfortable. There are more comfortable mouses, but it is pretty uh, pretty nice. So it didn't bother me too much once you get used to it, but I still prefer uh, thicker, wider mouses. Uh, so talking about the comfort on this guy. So it has these rubber grips on the side, uh, which feel really good. I really like how this plays. That's one thing, good thing about this mouse. It has a rubber grip so when your hand goes on the mouse the mouse sort of curves up so it's pretty comfortable I just wish it was a little a little wider uh, so those rubber grips feel really good and they really help out when you're gaming or you're doing video editing you get have a really nice control of the mouse the scroll wheel on here is also really nice too it works great and there's two buttons on top there's a plus and a minus button so those are to set the DPI so the DPI goes all the way up to 2400 uh, so which is pretty good there's some that go higher but this mouse is very cheap uh, so as you turn the DPI the color will change on the logo uh, which is pretty cool so this doesn't have a lot of colors like the other mouse but I found that these the colors that I did have were fine so it's no big deal uh, so the buttons on the side so a lot of these uh, mouses mouses gaming mouses or high performance mouses usually have a lot of buttons but this one doesn't have too many buttons going on it has the DPI buttons and it has two uh, buttons on the side a, a front and back button so when you're browsing the web you can go front and back so I think this is more of a honestly I think it's more of a maybe a video editing or just a better mouse. I don't think this is really targeted towards gamers at all, but it does have that pretty nice DPI. Uh, so in the box you'll get some manual and some drivers and stuff like that with this guy, uh, which is really nice for the price. But overall I think this is a really comfortable mouse. I really do like the shoestring texture they're doing with these mouses now. That's how I know that it's a pretty good mouse and it won't break and stuff like that. Uh, because that is really good. I, all the mouses that I've had, gaming mouse, I always have the shoestring texture. I always go with that. Uh, so that's pretty much it with this review. It wasn't a lot with this mouse. It was pretty. It's a pretty bare, and simple mouse. I did like the design. Uh, the little slit of on the top is a really cool, little nice design. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty simple, minimalistic design, and it just works. I would have liked, would have liked it for it to be a little wider, but. Uh, that's fine. So anyway, thanks for watching this review, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.